Hello, welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Valor Models 148 scale. This is the BN2A Islander, which is obviously the British Airways markings. Um, obviously it is sold around the uh, around the world and things like that, but in the UK, from my point of view, down in my part of the world, which is southwest of England, these things used to run around all the time because obviously we've got a lot of islands around here and things like that, and it is ideal, being obviously a very short uh, takeoff, you know, grass runway, things like that as well, little tiny commuter aircraft, basically supporting the small communities and islands all around the UK. But definitely one of those ones where I never ever thought we would see a kit in 148 scale. So it's great to see that Valum have come to our rescue like this. A beautiful little art the box art showing exactly what it used to do. Small airports, things like that. It is available in a few different markings. Obviously, it was sold extensively around the world. Various ones. I think there's one in Israeli markings as well and stuff like that. But being British, I thought I'd play for the home crowd, so we did it in this particular box. So, run around then. It's Valon boxes aren't exactly the most liveliest ones. Got your kit number. This one here is 48010. And then, as we can see down here, a little bit of information and the usual blurb. It is available for around about £36. And it is available from the PM store okay so typical with Valum we sort of get this little bag a little bit in there a nice color plastic but as always we'll start with the old instructions so usual blurb about the actual aircraft itself and its development from the 60s and then a bit quite nice thick paper right, we'll look at that in a moment then we'll do it that way okay so down in here we've obviously got your parts uh, and your sprue layout, as you might imagine. And then we're going straight into it. So down in here, it's gonna be a little bit all over the place with these. We've got actually got the uh, instrument panel. You see quite a detailed instrument panel going down in there. Flight yoke, things like that. I've got the harnesses, uh, a little bit of uh, overhead paneling going in there, stuff like that. And then, as I say, it's a little bit all around here. We've got the gear, which have this nice fairing that obviously comes down behind the engine, the cells, okay? And we've got the nose wheel system being fitted on there. It doesn't retract the gear, so it's very straightforward. The actual engine, the cells themselves, okay? And you've got your prop going on there, simple as that, which is what we like to see. Uh, upside down, right way round. Are we going that way, this way? Four, yeah, it's all over the place, this. Uh, seating, so obviously you've got the seats going down in there, rear bulkhead, and obviously you've got the instrument panel, a few little call-outs for the harnesses, little rudder pedals as well, something a little bit cute. Okay, and then obviously all the windows being fitted down there into the fuselage, as you can see. And then going on to here, we've actually got the wing tips being fitted onto this one and the wing section going in the top and then the tail section being slotted in the rear and then background on the other side we've got everything going in there so front of the engine the cells going in there the rear part with the actual uh, gear with the fairings on scrape points it looks like these probably are going to be a mixture of photo etch and normal parts for the actual actuators being fitted on there like that and then showing you the all important locations for some of the pitot tubes some of the aerials and obviously got some scoops on there stuff like that and then underneath here, we've actually got some of the placing for the photo etch. So we've got the photo etch plates going underneath, showing you the locations of the mall and a little call out around there like that. And that gives you your finish, Lysander. Not forgetting your little rotating beacon on the back. Small, cute, very nice to be honest. Uh, Colour call outs. So obviously we've got the various things, Humbrol. Uh, and then obviously the usual suspects down there, you've got federal standards, as you might imagine. And then down in here, because this is obviously the British Airways uh, colours and markings, as you can see down in here, we've got the colour callouts for those right the way through. So very nice indeed. The bag, uh, is a sticky bag, is a sticky bag. As I said, it's not, I know I call it a small aircraft, it's not that small. Um, and again, in 148 scale, we can see. Now, one thing that just struck me is the amount of detail, which we don't want to get into that one yet. Let's have a quick look around the other parts first. So down in here, we've got, i just flick this. Okay, so down in here, we've got some of the photo etch. So we can see, we've got the photo etch down like that. No problem at all. Looking very nice. And then over here, we've actually got the uh, markings. You can see them down in here. Pretty nice, no problem with those at all. Good solid registration, good color, things like that. Okay, over to the plastic. So, um, as you can see, we've got on the the full one here, we can see you've got loads of surface detail. No problem with any of that at all. Again, it's very nice how it's got this mixture of raised and recessed. Okay, the riveting is a little bit wayward and all the rest of it, but actually, I don't think that's too bad at all. When you get right in amongst it, 
as you see down in here, catching it on the light. There's quite a lot of detail. Underneath here, it hasn't got any, but that's what your photo etch is all for. Okay, so that's going to do them. The engine, the cells themselves, you can see, got some nice little details on those as well. And again, pretty good all the way around. On the tails, you can see, a little bit of raised, a little bit of recessed. The wheels, yeah, okay, not perfect, but it's perfectly adequate. Inside, nothing at all. Okay, so you might want to get in there with a little bit of scratch, uh, scratch building. You have got quite a bit of detail down in here, but just generally, I don't think that's too bad at all. That's okay, I think we'll get away with that. One of the nice things, this was what grabbed me when we first got this kit out, was this. Loads of surface detail, you can catch it in the light there. We've got some very, very nice things going on here. Again, with the amount of riveting that's in there, the amount of raised and recessed. And if you look at this one here for the top of the wing, got all those access ports, we've got all these strengthening plates, various plates on here like this. Again, a lot of detail down in there. And then when we're looking at all these smaller parts with the seats uh, and everything else, these are always actuators, the various bulkheads, instrument panel, things like that. Actually, I don't think it's too bad at all. It's one of these kits which is quite basic, it's got a lot of detail. Okay, it's just you need to sort of, you know, bring it out to life. Like in here in the, the actual cabin, nothing really going on here, but it wouldn't take too much to get that sorted out. But again, you look at the surface detail down here at the back and on the underside of the tails, very nice indeed. And then the cells, we've got the props, not looking too bad at all. Okay, last up, we've got the clear parts. We just pop these out in the bag. A very, very tight bag. We got those in. And again, we were looking at some yesterday and they weren't brilliant. These aren't brilliant again. You can see they're a little bit away. We're just gonna need a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of sorting out. But again, you can get in here, I think by dipping it, we just improve it tenfold uh, and give a lot better look to it. But actually, I don't think that's too bad at all. And there we go, absolutely lovely. I think this is one of those kits where, again, it's a little bit twofold because the external detail, stuff on the wings, stuff like that is absolutely gorgeous, beautifully done. Very nice mix of raised and recessed details right the way through. The downside is, is the interior hasn't got much detail. Now, how much you want to put in there is going to be really up to you. But I think you could just pop in there a little bit of scratch building, a little bit of panelling just around, just to liven it up if you are going to be able to see in there. But again, how much are you actually going to see? I think by the time you use the photo etch seatbelts that are in there, things like that, that will be enough to liven it up. Absolutely fantastic. The windows, they're not massive. You're not going to see tons of detail in there. And quite frankly, they're not that clear either. So this is probably going to be more for your external stuff straight out of the box. But if you wanted to, you could open up the doors and go really to town with it. Loads of scratch building and make something extra specialist. But again, it's one of those kits which is gives you a great jump off point for something just out of the box, just to have a little bit of fun with and paint it up and end up with a beautiful, um, you know playing no problem at all or go that whole hog and detail it and go right the way through again it is available for a measly uh, 36 pounds if you wanted to buy it. it is available in the pm store if you want to get it from us but obviously all the other retailers will keep them as normal so there we go that's valens a lovely 132nd scale islander <laughs>